Hello guys, so I wanted to do a really quick review today on the Brooks C17 Cambium saddle. Take a look at this bad boy. So I'm not just firing out a five minute test ride and telling you what it feels like. I did two years on one of these bad boys and honestly I want to tell you my experience because there was a lot of positive, there was also some negative as well. So to start with, it's unlike any other saddle. So it's made of something called Vulcan rubber, which is very cool. Check this out. So as you can see, it's a really flexible saddle and it's really easy to get sat down into it and to, it to get very comfortable very, very quickly. So that comes with a few penalties, unfortunately. For a saddle to be rubber, normally means it's gonna be a bit heavier. And this saddle is. So your standard saddle is probably about two to 300 grams. These bad boys are about four to 500 grams. They're heavy saddles. So in the time I had it, I was doing a lot of bike packing, a lot of ultra racing and just general day-to-day -day riding. I found in standard long rides, it to be a very comfortable saddle. I could be in it all day. It wasn't necessarily going quick, but I could be in it all day and be very, very comfortable. So I knew that I had to take this saddle over to my ultra racing. So I did and I tried it, but I came across a very big problem that I found with it. So I use uh, aero bars, the tri bars that go on the front. And the issue I found with this is when I was lent right over, it became very uncomfortable here. Under, let's say, my crown jewels, it became quite painful over time. And I'd spend a lot less time in my aero bars because of this, putting a lot of extra pressure up here, unfortunately. I did find if I wanted to be comfortable in my aero bars, I'd have to lean the saddle forward and honestly it was quite a faff at the beginning of the day that I knew it would be flat to adjust it forward and then bring it back together again especially when for this saddle for the comfort you're already taking a little bit of a weight penalty. I actually changed out for a different saddle and I started using what they call a pro stealth it looks a little bit like this and I became very very comfortable with the pro stealth and it's all I've ever used pretty much for the last two, three years now. So I was out riding the other day and a friend of mine, he has a Brooks Cambium saddle, uh, very similar to this one, but Brooks started making them with a very big difference in them. So Brooks started making them with a cutout in them. So I said to him, mate, can I have a go on your bike? And he said, yeah, yeah, sure. So I tried the saddle and uh, his bike was very aggressive. So it was very lent forward, like I was on the actual aero bars. And I tried it and I didn't get the discomfort that I used to get from not this saddle in particular, but this style of saddle without the cuts of in between. And I was actually quite surprised that that little change of making a cut out in the center had cured so much for me. So should you buy one? Honestly, let's talk about price point first. So one, price. They're about $110, so UK about 80 pounds. It's a good price for a saddle. You're gonna get a lot of quality out of that. It's gonna be very good. And normally with a company like Wiggle, you'll have it in a few days. Fantastic. Durability, I used one for two years. I did a lot of miles, maybe like 20, 25,000 miles in those years. And uh, although this is actually a new one, I wasn't sent this by Brooks, by the way. Although this is actually a new one, my old one looks exactly the same. A couple of scratches there, and that's kind of from me changing inner tubes and things like that. But it definitely did the test of time, like you would expect from any Brooks saddle. Weight-wise, I actually found it very heavy compared to a lot of other saddles. So for example, the Pro Stealth that I showed you earlier, that's like 250 grams. This is like 400, 450. You know, I, I could maybe forgive, let's say 50 or 60 grams, but 
you know, forgiving 200 grams is a lot, especially if you're trying to be quick and trying to save weight. You know, that is actually, could be 200 grams of food. You never know, there's a big difference. In ultra racing, you always want to kind of be comfortable and light. If I had to pick between weight and comfort, I'd probably end up picking the comfort over the weight by all means. But still, that is quite a sizable difference in weight between the two saddles. It's, it's nearly double, if I'm correct. So style, it looks great on this bike anyway. This is a 35 year old Rally Elite and this saddle, it suits it. It looks like it's out that era with a really nice modern edge. But on kind of like my modern steel bike, or let's say I went out and got a carbon thing, I just don't think personally for me, it would look uh, like I want it to, if I'm brutally honest, but it is a beautiful saddle. Uh, overall, should you buy it? Yeah, totally. It's a really good saddle. You know, I'd personally go with the one with the cutout. It just gives a little bit less flexibility here, which actually in turn makes it a little bit more supportive and a little bit more comfortable. In my opinion, for me, it doesn't suit me. It's not the kind of saddle I'd use. I like the ones where you're a little bit more on your sit bones. This is kind of a little bit more in the center here, but everyone's behind is very different. So although it might not work for me, it might work for you. If you're struggling with saddle problems, it's a really good place to start because a lot of people I know that get these really do fall in love with the saddle very quickly and they offer a lot of comfort. So yeah, yeah, it's definitely worth the money. It's definitely worth giving it a try. If you're trying to be quick and racy and you're only on the bike for an hour or two, there's really no point you buying it. Go for a lighter saddle, you know, and then just adapt to it and just get used to it. But Realistically, if you're doing big days in the saddle or bike packing or ultra racing, yeah, it's a really good saddle for it. But like I say, there is a weight penalty. So yeah, I do recommend it. It is the legendary Brooks Cambium saddle.